burnout in lane number three. But Doug Gordon in that Beta Motorcycles ride, rolling back here in lane number one, and Jake Guadanolo, also known as like Wheels Up Guadanolo, has uh, cut his teeth in the world of sportsman drag racing, where you, he used to campaign just a spectacular little flat black Nova that uh, had a tendency to really like to air it out. But with Guadanolo behind the wheel now, of that ride in lane number two, and Charles McClaws coming in out of Winslow, Arizona. And Alan said something yesterday that I had no idea was actually a thing, but apparently there is a sign in Winslow where you can stand on the corner in Winslow, Arizona and take a picture with a sign. I need to do that someday. Is there a girl on a flatbed Ford? That I don't by? know if there's a girl on a flatbed Ford, but every, every <laughs> once in a while, all right. Every once in a while comes rolling by in lane number four, Shane Westerfield, that Rick Jackson Motorsports ride. He's going to see what they've got. All four of them. Our first rear in last one. Big jump on the starting line for Jake Guadagnolo. Is it going to be enough? The answer is no, not quite. Doug Gordon gets there first with a 548 at 267 miles an hour. Second to the line was Shane Westerfield putting up a 556 at 265 miles an hour. So Doug Gordon had the 063 reaction time and puts up the big numbers on the board with that 548 to get there first. He will join at Shane Westerfield along with Chris Marshall and Nick Janik in the final four funny cars standing here at the strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. What a cool, cool deal it was. We've got Lucas Oil Sportsman Racers sitting under the arch and they too are gonna be trying to race their way into the finals that are gonna be coming up here in a moment. But man, oh man, taking a look at that one more time up on the big screen, you can see Doug Gordon in that Beta Motorcycles car way out front. And then here comes Shane Westerfield to get across the stripe second to wrap things up in Alcohol Funny Car round number two. Race fans, if you are hanging out, do not go too far because the Lucas Oil Sportsman cars are gonna be fighting it out one more time.